Chancellor of Public Affairs, U.S. Embassy Abuja, Adnan Sediki, said the embassy usually celebrates the International Women's Day on a yearly basis. It is to promote women's equality and empowerment and to raise conversation on issues affecting women. He said women across the globe are doing a lot in the public, social and political affairs. The Council for Public Affairs noted that American women had to struggle for their rights to vote and today are making waves with a female vice president and four Supreme Court judges, among others. Despite this development, women are paid 60% salaries in private sector, unlike the male counterparts. Atlant said men need to be more enlightened and should cooperate with women. Uh, issue about uh, women's equality, women's uh, empowerment. Uh, we uh, try to do as much as we can as an embassy. Uh, and uh, But the most important thing we can do is, is have a dialogue, have a discussion with the uh, Nigerians, uh, both Nigerian men and Nigerian women, uh, to talk about these issues, to uh, share our experiences uh, in the United States, and to li listen to you to hear about your experiences. Other speakers that include Peter Buba, Adebayo Shade, and the Commissioner of Power, Science and Technology, Mariam Bagel, said to break the bias against women, the girl child must be empowered, schools must be safe, and that each woman should mentor one girl in her community. Today we are supposed to reflect, to evaluate where we have been and where we are now, what are the successes, what were the challenges, are we where we want to be, are we close to that place or what is stopping us. Uh, a young lady raised a question, uh, uh, she's at the concern, I can say, uh, about the recent bill that got rejected in the National Assembly, which was which disturbed all, almost everyone in the country, both women and men. It has to be together, next time. we all have to do it together, both men and women, and collectively we can actually break these biases. Now, so what are women's rights? We always talk about women's rights. They raise a society. They are important people in every man's life. For every human being you see, he was brought in by a woman. For every struggle a man is going through, is for the sake of a woman. It could be his mother, it could be his child, it could be his sister. So we live for women. We live for women. Elizabeth Ka, BATV News.